So I'm going to be talking about, so you know how American Apparel moved from, okay, so they went bankrupt and they closed all their stores and then Gl Glidden, so Glidden bought them out and they sold out everything and then they wanted to restart everything from scratch. So they did that and then, so from what I know is that they moved a lot of the companies to, they're not made in the us anymore well some of the, some of the stuff is but most a lot of the stuff is not and i know and i've heard that the quality has went down and i just want to know by how much it went down you know because the quality it was okay it, it was way better like a long time ago like five years ago it was better than from what it was like two years ago three years ago like the jeans were thicker and everything but okay so I I placed an order I just got my package and I want to be reviewing these we'll review two of them so so okay so this is the ones that are made in the USA United States of America US of A so these using these as an example and these are the brand new ones these okay you can't you can only see some subtle differences Let's see what I can see from these let's see okay so some, one of them looks longer than the other ones I'll measure it right now Okay, so let's start off with the new ones. Okay, so from what I can feel, this, the waistband feels cheap. Like it feels like that underwear that they saw at the flea market. And also it's very see-through. I don't know, I feel like this could probably hurt. Well, this one is the same one. It's the same pair of underwear, but made in the USA. Oh, I didn't test the stretch test. Okay, so this is, I feel like they're not very stretchy, but they're, they're stretchy, but not very stretchy. With these, I feel like they're more stretchy. This is the tag, this is how it looks. Extra small. 100% cotton, wa machine wash cold. Let me see if I can see any differences between these two. This is just me like opening the package and seeing the difference. So let's see the difference. So one of them has this. So you can see it different from that. And the layout, there's lines now to indicate separation made in the USA made in Honduras I don't know do they have good I doubt that they have fair labor laws but I never know but yeah it feels cheap this feels cheaper for sure I got these for about so I got these when it was like, when they're doing their clearance, like they're, they were closing down their store and I was like going, I got these for about like a dollar because they were trying to get rid of everything. Dollar, and I got these for $2 on Cyber Monday. Oh, I can also tell this was glued on. This was glued on and it has this tag too. I didn't show the tag. This is glued on. Let me see if this one's glued on. Okay, this one is more like an like a sticky adhesive, like the one that you use with the iron. Well, this one looks like a sticker. It was probably used with an iron too, but And this one has ISO. 
in the thing, in the tag, where it says like how to care for it, ISO. That's the difference. Well, like this one, okay, so this is the newest. This is like four years old, but I don't you wear them often. Like three years old, four years old, and they are really good quality. Not the best quality, but they're good quality. Um, they just feel like no wonder what these like you can, you can just feel like there's something missing in these. Okay, now let's see. I've never done a review before, so I just I just want to review it because I just never dealt with something like this before, like seeing a product go down in quality. Okay, so in the crotch area, there's like these threads sticking out. Let's see for this one, no threads, sharp lines. No threads, sharp lines. Okay, now let's see what else. Three, three stitches here. Three stitches. This one looks like it's more deeper though than this one. Like you can't really see it. And then this one. Three stitches too. Um, okay, let's see. The stitching is probably is probably going to be the same, but I doubt. Yep, it's different. So this one is thicker, and this is more thinner. Like they use less. Let me see. Like it's not double stitched. Yeah, the quality has gone down on the new products, it's probably, like, I'm guessing the underwear. It's not great anymore. It, not that it was like the best thing, it's just like, I don't really like to wear American Apparel underwear, it's just like, I just have them. I prefer like Calvin Klein or something. But it's just like, I'm just reviewing. Okay, also the crotch. So these are extra small. But these are new. And these are like, I've probably worn them like about two times. Two, four, four times max. Maybe they shrinked. Maybe. Let me just measure it. It's not really part of the review. Because it's. You know what? I'm not gonna do it. I'm just gonna like put them side by side. But do you know if when you wash this get feels like it's thicker and it gets smaller? But the difference is that these are stretchy. Er, another ones. Yeah, you can see they're slightly that's probably from the washing machine, so don't say anything from that. Oh, I just saw something else. The difference between this one is thicker. Like it's it's thicker and this one is thinner. Like these literally feel like flea market underwear. And the only reason why I know that is because I I whenever I go to places I like to see the quality of things like the quality or not. I'm just like that, I'm weird. It's just, let me see. Yeah. And this is softer too, like these are softer. Softer, what else do I see? Just clear observations. The stitching in the back, it's more clean. This just has this one thread. I don't know if it was there from the beginning, but it, it, there's like no mess up. This one has bunching. 
cool. It has like bunching in the top and the bottom. But for two dollars is not a bad deal for these. It's still a good product for two dollars. But I got a better deal when these were these were a dollar. These were two dollars. They were four dollars, I think. You know what? Should I also review the jacket I got? Hmm. Okay. Made in Honduras, so I guess a lot of ooh, okay, it's cute size. Looks pretty small though. Like that their sizing looks smaller. Also I know that their sizing has changed up a a bit. I guess I have to review Los Angeles apparel because I just want to see how much different it is. I feel like it's thicker. It would be thicker. That's what my assumption would be. That they're thicker. Better quality. It's got me thinking. I'll probably review it, but they don't have any sales. But for the sake of a video, I'll record it. I think that's some probably gonna be like twenty five dollars. Well, I'll get a whole bunch of stuff and review. But yeah, it's just. I mean, if you can get it for a good price, yeah, why not? You know. But I didn't test the quality of their the bottom stitching. This one's closed off. This one is showing green from the bottom of the legs. This one, you can't see any red, like bleeding, not bleeding, but like any red fabric. But this one, you can see green like a hint of green in the top. Let me see. It's kind of hard to see on camera, but in person you can see it because it is thinner. The white is thicker and softer, but maybe it's just the fabric softer. But from the inside, this one, it's open though. Okay. And this one is closed. So they did a reverse thing on there. Let's see from the inside. I was gonna like end this, but I was like, okay, there's probably more to this. Or let's see. Let's see how much can you see me through these? Can you see me through that? Let's see with these. I honestly cannot see anything through this. Then test that. Let's see through. I can I can see like spotty though. So the fabric is thickener. I just feel like that's the only way to kind of, not the only way, but like, to tell if it's like thinner fabric. Yeah, you can, you can kind of see like little hints of light. Like you see, you can see the door frame with these. You can kind of see it, but not as much. Okay. So that was my final review. Indication and differences between 
the new American Apparel made in Honduras underwear. And the uh, one made in USA. From the time period. Yeah. 